Typhoons, Stealth Fighters, and Wombats are just some of the new releases to release into the simulation world this week. Hi there, folks. My name's Nova Wing 24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one-stop location for your simulation release news and goings-on from the week that was. So here we are on a Sunday, the 23rd of October 2022 for another action-packed episode, and let's jump into it with the spectacular release from the team over at CJ Simulations with the release this week of their rendition of the Eurofighter Typhoon for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So this aircraft comes to us from first time, well, I'm going to say it's their first solo release uh, from CJ Simulations, but uh, CJ Simulations has been helping out numerous other developers uh, since with uh, various other add-ons for Microsoft Flight Simulator over the last few years. So this is a fully native Microsoft Flight Simulator aircraft given to us with extreme. 3D detail both internally and externally, uh, giving us custom coded instruments with a fully uh, co collimated heads up display, as well as custom coded uh, MFD screens uh, and a variety of custom effects used throughout the aircraft. This gives us a uh, 14 different liveries are shipped with this one uh, with custom coded flight dynamics to give us a real impression of flying the uh, Typhoon. Uh, now, quick, what I want to quickly interject here before anybody starts screaming the dreaded S word called study level. Uh, so uh, this is uh, a, from CJ Simulations. This is a aircraft release, which is uh, in the vein of most good quality releases where it strives to find a balance between accessibility and and realism so you will find that for example you know yes n well no you can't make things go bang with the uh, the weapons on this aircraft but it does give you a authentic flying experience of flying a uh, high speed multi-role modern combat aircraft now, if you wanted to add this one to your collection, you can pick this one up for $35 US or your original equivalent available from Just Flights. So continuing on with Microsoft Flight Simulator releases and a little bit of self-promotion here for a good cause, uh, this week I saw the release of 10 livery packs for the Pilatus, the Carinado Pilatus PC-12 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, each of these livery packs is a single livery flown by the Raw Flying Doctor Service, which is a vital aeromedical service uh, throughout Australia, transporting patients uh, in critical needs, but also providing uh, normal healthcare activities that many of us who live in cities take for granted on a daily basis. These aircraft cover aircraft operations from the Royal Flying Doctor Service Central and Western Operations Command and are fully endorsed and have been created in cooperation with the RFDS. And I do want to make a note here that uh, the sale of each of these liveries, the 90% of the sales uh, price that you pay uh, all go to donations to the Royal Flying Doctor Service. So every time you buy one of, the, buy one of these liveries and when you fly them, know that you have helped keep the Royal Flying Doctor Service flying and doing their vital work. And if you want to pick up any of these liveries and support a fantastic cause and a fantastic charity, uh, you can pick these up from Orbix Direct. Continuing on with other Microsoft Flight Simulator releases this week, the team over at Pilots released their latest scenery with the release of their rendition of Lynchburg Regional Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, so a uh, regional airport uh, in Virginia, this is primarily a GA airport, but does uh, service uh, occasional uh, BizJet community as well, uh, gives a up-to-date re representation of the airport as it appears in 2022 with custom terrain mesh uh, for the variety of ele elevations and uh, rolling effects across the runway and uh, taxiways with a number of dynamic objects and dynamic scenery uh, to give you uh, the impression and give you the immersion of uh, feeling of an ever-changing airport environment. Uh, most of the airport buildings look like they've been uh, added in. Looks like from the limited, like literally three screenshots they've released, it looks like they've got their own custom photo reel there. Taxiways look a little bland, uh, but yeah, the layout looks pretty much spot on. Uh, so if you want to pick this one up for your collection, you can pick this one up for $15 US or your original equivalent, available now from the InSim Marketplace. In another scenery release now for Microsoft Flight Simulator, the team over at Fly Too High released their rendition of Destin Fort Walton Beach Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, this is a really interesting airport, this one. Uh, so this is actually co-located with, with uh, Eglin Air Force Base uh, in uh, Okaloosa County in Florida. And uh, I actually personally have flown uh, out of this airport uh, several times. Uh, so... 
I okay. The first thing is the first thing I'm going to say is is that this 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 is not great. This this is really is not great. So as somebody who's actually been there, um, they look like it, it, they just got the the terminal building the 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 foreground the, the the foreground of the terminal building is just flat out wrong. They've got a Viper and a UH sixty sitting as gate guardians. Uh, that is not the case. The gate guardians at the actual airport is a F fifteen A Eagle and a UH one Iroquois. So there's the first problem. Uh, the car park layout is wrong. The airport the terminal building is the externals look right. They haven't released any pictures of whether or not they've done any internals. The the ground poly looks not great, uh, and it looks like they've just used the standard stock default uh, MSFS imagery. From the really long distance far shot, it looks like they've done at least a partial attempt at adding in some of the shelters on the Eglin Air Force Base side of the field. So, yay. Uh, but yeah, the texture quality and the layout from somebody who's actually been to this airport, I'm going to say no on this one. But if you want to do this one, which probably, which does make it, I suppose, somewhat better than the default one, which is just, which is very, very basic, uh, you can pick this one up over at flightsim.to for nine US dollars, or original equivalent available now. Because you're on with another Microsoft Flight Simulator airport release now. The team over at Gaffer Simulations released their rendition of OR Tambo International Airport in South Africa. So uh, this one, again, is another airport that I have also been to. Uh, and uh, this is the airport layout as appears in 2022. Um, it looks like they've got the airport buildings done. The airport terminal's been done in pretty good detail. Uh, I remember walking its halls uh, on various flights that I've taken in and out of South Africa over the years. So for that side of things, I'm definitely going to say that, yeah, okay, that looks fine. However, looking over the promo shots they've sent out is that the ground poly of the taxiways, particularly the uh, away from gate parking, uh, I really question some of those graphics and textures that they've used because they really don't look great. Uh, it looks like, you know, you've got uh, markings are cut off partway through and just not great. Uh, the other thing that I'm really disappointed with is the taxiway and the underlying photo reel. So they have not cleaned up that photo reel in any way, shape, or form. It's so bad, in fact, that in one of their promo shots, they actually inc- you can actually see the photo reel image underneath it of where an aircraft is you know burnt into the scenery, is burnt into the the photo reel, and they didn't even try and hide it by parking a static on top of it. So, yeah, that's 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 just I'm just flat out gonna say it. It's kind of not really worth it. Yeah, you know, just it just it's really off putting. So yeah, just. Mm-hmm buyer beware. But if you do want to pick this one up, you can pick this one up and add this one to your collection uh, for 18 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Sim Markets. And another scenery release now from this time from developer ST Simulations. They've released their rendition of Gazapaza Alanya Airport in Turkey. Very little description on this one and very odd imagery choice that they made for the publicity images of this one. The feature list basically says they provide a custom ATC tower and a custom terminal model. Yay. They've done intensive terraforming work, accurate runway and apron slopes, uh, which again, is kind of expected now these days. Uh, and yeah, they don't really include much, you know, sort of zoomed out sort of images of the airport. I've got a few questions. Uh, first pass at it, the texturing is yeah fair to middling but they did model the road which passes underneath the runway but you can't actually drive through the tunnel but you know eh, that's fine this is a flight sim not a driving sim so anyway if, if you want to pick this one up you can add this one to your collection for 10 us dollars or your original equivalent available now from sim markets Continue on with another airport release, this time from the team over at Vertical Sim. So this week, the release of their rendition of Syracuse, ha- Syracuse Hancock International Airport. So this is a follow-on from their popular Boise Airport release. It gives a full rendition of the airport, including all terminal buildings, with a full terminal interior modelling of, of the main terminal. All at the airport and uh, many of the land side buildings are also modelled, custom night lighting, and with a variety of 3D animated people included throughout both the terminal and in the control tower. 
includes a variety of uh, animations uh, to help enhance your airport experience and overall looks pretty good with the way they've given their rendition of this aircraft. And if you want to add this one to your collection, you can pick this one up for $20 US or your original equivalent, available now from Contrail. Rounding out the Microsoft Flight Simulator releases this week, Darkspace released X-Enviro 2020 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So this is basically a... Uh, t- they took their experience with X Enviro for X Plane and they transplanted it into MSFS as a claiming a uh, highly advanced new weather engine. Which okay, all right, you know, I still find the one that comes with the sim pretty damn good. Uh, but it probably the biggest Im- important thing that it does is that it does give historical weather data, which I believe is the first time that any weather add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator actually now offers this one. Otherwise, they claim that they've got updated atmospheric rendering of especially of clouds, and their screenshots do give a reasonable impression of that. And from the, the as I said the the two screenshots that they, I found for this one. But it does give you a few different options to that one, including differently different ways they're going to be scaling the clouds. So if you want to pick this one up, you can pick this one up from the Threshold store for $42 US or your original equivalent available now. Moving out of the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator, moving back in time to the world of Prepared, Sierra Sim released their rendition of Linden Pindling International Airport. So this follows on from their previous release of this for Microsoft Flight Simulator. They have now brought it backwards compatible from Microsoft Flight Simulator into Prepared by giving us a rendition of the busiest, one of the busiest airports in the Caribbean. It gives us airport layout as appears in 2021, 2022, uh, with all airport buildings modeled. Ground poly textures look pretty good for this one. I've got to admit though, it's just I am a little spoiled by Microsoft Flight Simulator. So there are you know, some of the texture jaggering is a bit, you know, does sort of, uh, you, know, you know, put me off a little bit. But, you know, if for those of you still fine prepared, that's fine. This is still available for you. Includes support for dynamic night lighting and equip being, it comes equipped with SOD jetways for the main airport terminal as on with custom ground poly so and custom ortho imagery for the airport and surrounding area. And if you want to add this one to your collection, you can pick this one up for $16 US or your original equivalent available now from Sierra Simulations. Moving out of prepared now, moving into the world of X-Plane 12. So this week, the release from the team over at vSky Labs, the release of their rendition of the F-19 Stealth Fighter. So the F-19 was a fictional, mythical stealth fighter supposedly developed for the US Air Force that was uh, essentially a cover story for the F-117 Nighthawk, but did prominently feature in uh, several movies and books of the era. So the team, this if the team over at Sky Labs uh, has released this one as part of their test pilot series, uh, and is a X Plane Twelve uh, designed aircraft from the ground up. Uh, this gives a, I, I'm, I'm sort of. Uh, it, they, they claim true to life performance. I'm not sure how you do true to life performance for a fictional aircraft, so I'm going to leave that one to one side. Uh, but they do capture, from looking at the the, the the screenshots of the cockpit, they do capture that sense of the 1980s sort of feel for a cockpit. So I think that's kind of cool. So yeah, anyway, uh, it's a bit of a flight of fancy, but it is kind of interesting. And if you're wanting to, to look into it, uh, it could be kind of fun. It's a, it's a bit of an odd something, a bit of something different but if you wanted to pick this one up you can pick this one up for 35 us dollars or your original equivalent available now from vsky labs because you went with X-Plane 12 releases this week. The team over at Orbix uh, also uh, brought their rendition of Brisbane International Airport over from the ESP sims. Uh, I brought them over in to X-Plane 12. So this gives us uh, over 60, 60 square kilometres of scenery coverage of the airport and the surrounding port and surrounding areas. Uh, includes a number of animations, including animated radar systems and vehicle traffic around the airport. Custom as a custom photoreal coverage, handcrafted terrain mesh for the airport and surrounding area with the current layout as it appears in 2022 with the parallel runways. And if you want to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for 20 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Orbix Direct. And in another X-Plane release this week, this time for both X-Plane 11 and X-Plane 12, the scenery developer Boundless Simulations has brought to life their rendition of Lands End Airport, uh, which is a small uh, airport that's located uh, six miles west of Penzance in Cornwall. It is the most southwesterly airport in Great Britain and is owned by the Isles of Scilly uh, Steamship Company, which uh, also owns the airport's only serving airline, Isles of Scilly, Scab- uh, Isles of Scilly Sky Bus. I was getting into the Halloween theme there 
game for a second there. Uh, so they've recre- recreated it in the custom in, in high detail with the airport layout as it appears in 2022 with up-to-date uh, ortho imagery for the airport and surrounding area, uh, photo real texturing, PBR effects, yada, 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 all the usual fun stuff with custom vegetation included, with custom dynamic lighting and a number of land side features including you know, various houses and farms uh, and hedges, trees, vegetation, all custom modelled. Uh, also includes support for the X-Plane 12 rain and seasonal effects on the ground as well as their 3D grass. And if you want to pick this one up and add this one to your collection, you can pick this one up for 13 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Boundless Simulations. And rounding out the X-Plane 12 releases this week from developer Origami Studios. So this week, they released their rendition of Heathrow Airport for X-Plane 12. So this gives us a highly detailed rendition of uh, London Heathrow, including all airport buildings with custom-made terminals, including Terminal 5, with 3D interior. All four of your major terminals, so Terminals 2, 3, 4, and 5, all modelled accurately with their custom interiors. A variety of custom static ground vehicles with uh, accurate custom ground markings and taxi signage with all custom landside points of interest including the uh, Concord Gate Guardian are all included. Includes custom terrain mesh has been supported for this airport and designed for seamless integration with Orbix's True Earth or customized or your own customized ortho imagery. Includes support for the uh, 3D moving grass effects for X-Plane 12 users, but as I said, uh, with SAM Jetway integration. And uh, although it is um, marketed as an X-Plane 12 support, it is also available for it. It is, does also support X-Plane 11 as well. And if you want to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for 25 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from any builds. Moving out of flight simulation and moving now into the permanent way, this week I saw the release this week of a uh, few new releases. The first one being the Flying Scotsman Centenary Steam Locomotive. Uh, so this is a I, – I, I feel like that this has been done – for some reason I feel like this has been done before. Maybe I'm wrong, but I vaguely remember the Flying Scotsman has already been done. Anyway, uh, so this is a, a rendition of the A3 Pacific uh, Flying Scotsman locomotive and its accompanying tent with a variety of passenger coaches uh, in the blood and, cu- blood and custard livery. It's very doom, doom, doom nation of sounding that one. Anyway, uh, includes 10 career scenarios for the East Coast mainline London to Peterborough route also supported with this release. And if you want to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for 20 US dollars or your original equivalent available now on Steam. In the second release for Train Simulator this week, so this week the release of the Lake Constance Scenario Pack. So this gives you four new scenarios uh, for your Lake Constance, your picturesque uh, scenery uh, to tour around uh, Lake Constance, uh, including uh, support for the SBB RABE 526 to 8 EMU. Normally this is a bit interesting actually because I'm more used to seeing the scenario packs for Train Simulator coming out with sort of 10 scenarios to so see only four seems a bit odd and a bit small but at the same time especially considering that it's, it's the same price so yeah a little perplexing this one but either way if you're wanting to grab some more scenarios you can pick this one up for 10 us dollars or your original equivalent available now on steam and finally rounding out the nova app for this week so this week of the release from the team at frontier for planet zoo the release of their twilight pack and a very suitably spooky pack for the season uh, so this gives you over 200 new scenery pieces, uh, most of which are uh, very much uh, Halloween themed and a sort of, you know, Twilight sort of uh, sort of scary sort of uh, theme park sort of themed. But it does give you five new crepsicular animals uh, to add to your zoo collection. Uh, this includes the raccoon, uh, red fox, striped skunk, the Egyptian fruit bat, and of course my favourite as the resident Australian, the common wombat. Uh, all of these uh, animals are usually found in dens, burrows and caves, and of course it gives you new habitats to support all of these animals, as well as a new career scenario in Transylvania, which is uh, said, a very, very appropriate uh, one for the spooky month that we're in. And if you're wanting to add these uh, critters to your collection, you can pick this one up for 10 US dollars or your regional equivalent available now on Steam. And with that, folks, that does now round up the Nova app for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed these videos and want to see more. And of course, as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter and on Twitch. Just search NovaWing24. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe guys all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.